Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on another Lenovo. This one actually looks quite new, quite clean. Customer complaint, the Xtrix key is stuck. And whenever they go to type something, it just shoots out a line of Asterix. So there's no signs of any liquid spill. I mean, that could be a main cause of a faulty keyboard. Problem with this keyboard, it's not so easy just to replace it. It's actually riveted to the this top plate together with the touchpad. So um, you could either get a whole top plate here, would be quite pricey. And this is quite a basic laptop, so I don't know whether that would be worth it. Or you can actually buy just the keyboard, but you would have to drill out all the rivets, quite a few, most probably 60 rivets around there. And then um, you would have to attach the new keyboard in such a way that um, you don't get any bounce on the keyboard. So mm, can be done, not very easy. Okay, let's, um, let's type something here. Right, right now, I don't even get any. Oh, there we go. So it's just spitting out asterisks. So, customer complaint confirmed. Okay, let's just um, let's just shut it down. Uh, easy things first. Let's disconnect the ribbon cable disconnect the, the battery from the motherboard Re give it a bit of a clean and uh, let's see if that helps at all okay I'll unclip the back cover Four screws holding in the battery. Don't get any, don't drop any screws onto the motherboard now because that motherboard is live. You don't want to short out anything. Okay, battery disconnected. Lift up the tab that holds in the ribbon cable for the keyboard. And that comes out quite easily. Okay, so if you just get the, um, like a pencil eraser, just slowly wipe the contacts down. Looks clean. I don't see any other signs of liquid damage in, in here either uh, yeah there's no staining or any water box anything like that it looks pretty clean so a mystery as to why these are the rivets I was telling you about yes yeah, just half the keyboard you can already see 30 rivets all these rivets here all these plastic rivets would have to be drilled out yeah, that 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 is a labor-intensive job. Okay, reconnect the keyboard, put in the battery, switch it back on, and let's see if that makes a difference. So what do we think? What's our chances? Truly not very good, 
but you still got to try especially one that's not so easy to just remove and replace a keyboard in fact if that doesn't work i do have one other plan up my sleeve because being an asterisk key and we do have another asterisk key here on the number eight with shift i do have software that can remap this keyboard and actually disable that key and um disabling that key if all the other keys work i think that would be that would be the fix of course i will offer the customer um a price on replacing the the whole top and also a price on just replacing the keyboard explaining to them about the rivets and having to re-glue back the other keyboard not being a perfect job but um i think if we manage to just disable the asterisk key that might actually be good enough all right so let's Asterisk key is still not working. The last time it took a few seconds. All the other keys are working perfectly. But here we go. Here we go there we go running again okay so cleaning the connector out didn't help disconnecting the battery didn't help uh, if you go to the Lenovo support website they'll tell you things like you know disconnect the battery reset the BIOS but uh, in this case that is not the fix all right let's move on to showing you the software and how to disable that key remapping the keyboard okay so the software i'm going to be using i've been using it for many years now um it's a freeware you can find this google uh what is it called i haven't used it for a while map keyboard map keyboard there it is okay so i've had this file since 2012 comes in handy every now and again if you need to swap keys around you can swap keys if you need to disable keys you can disable keys okay so right click on this and run as administrator i hope the quality is okay you can see it okay it's loaded in the background okay so here it is so this is the key here which is giving us the issue so you select that come to the drop down and then you can remap it to any other key or you can remap it to disabled and then save layout changes have been saved however they will only be affected after you log off okay so let's just sign out Okay, let's give it a test. Okay, all the keys are working. A number pad, division minus, add enter. Obviously now the asterisk, I'm pressing that, nothing's coming out. Shift button, yes. Okay, this actually, dumb, bright. All the other buttons seem to be working perfectly. Volume down, volume up.
I think I would personally be happy with that since we do have the shift 8 as another asterisk we can disable this button completely why not if the job is done like that it's a cheap and easy fix for the customer and get the, the laptop back today I think that uh, I think that's quite quite a good trick so um, yeah uh, if you ever need to disable or remap some keys that software will come and will come in handy okay let's end it there thanks for watching everybody remember that there's always a fix we'll see you in the next one